Hello and welcome back to my channel, Paul Stuff. This is my space on YouTube where I get to talk about all the things I love. Lots of Star Wars, lots of lightsabers and recently lots of Black Series. I've been going through my Black Series six inch figure collection. Um, and one of the things I'm doing as part of that is as I get new figures um, or in this case, new to me figures, um, I'm doing a video on them so that there's kind of a, a video catalogue of my my whole Black Sword series collection eventually. Um, and that new figures as I get them are added into that collection. There'll be vid videos on those individual f figures. If you have a look at, at my channel content, um, there are also videos on uh, my, my Black Series collection is organised in terms of shelves. So I have things like an Empire Strikes Back shelf, a New Hope shelf, uh, a Rogue One shelf, a Mandalorian shelf. And this new figure is a new addition to my prequels and Clone Wars shelf. It's a figure I've wanted for a little while. I've been waiting to get one at the right price because normally this figure commands astronomical figures on the uh, secondary market and it is you already know from the title of the video the original captain rex figure from the red and black box line so this figure was released a number of years ago um it's kind of on the old clone body but it was adapted a little bit so you can see it's got the the double pin joints um not gonna really kind of do too much of a review on this in terms of articulation and stuff like that um this is such a popular figure that um you can find reviews on it all over uh youtube this is more a look i got one video <laughs> <laughs> because I have been looking to find one of these for a long time. Now, those who watch the channel and have seen the rest of my collection know I'm an out-of-box collector. And one of the advantages of out-of-box collecting is that figures like this one that are considered by the community as, as being rare, I don't think they really are um you can always find them on ebay and places like that if you wanted one you can always find one but because they're considered rare i think um they're expensive and if you want one in box they are super expensive um if however you want one that's opened you can pick them up for less than the inbox price and that's what i've been waiting to do um, i don't need the box i'm not going to keep the box um, and so if i'm buying a, a used figure i can buy one that's been opened and um, uh, and is loose so um, by doing that, I saved myself a substantial amount of money on this figure. Still a little bit expensive. I'm not going to say how much I paid for him, but um, it was substantially less than I would have paid for an inbox figure. Um, and uh, less than £100. Quite a, quite a considerable amount less than £100. So... It's a nice way of being able to get these hard to find figures um, without having to pay a fortune for them. He is a nice figure. He comes with uh, the two blasters that you see him holding. He has removable helmet, which I don't like to take on and off too much because it's a little bit tight and I don't want to mess the paint up on his hair and things. And underneath, we have what is still one of the best Tamora Morrison 
head sculpts. Um, I don't think we've seen many that are better than this to date, even the new ones. Um, so little rangefinder moves, as you'd expect on this sort of helmet from the Black Series. Um, it has the, the cloth comers. I'm on, on the fence about those. Um, I think I probably almost prefer the, um, the new molded plastic ones. Um, I don't fall into any particular camp on, on soft goods. I think sometimes they look great. Sometimes they don't. I'm on the fence about these soft good karmas. Um, I think they can look okay. Depends on the pose that you're putting them in. Um, I suppose they have more flexibility in terms of that than the plastic ones. Um, but for these straight up and down poses, I think the plastic ones work better. But this figure is what it is. And what really makes this figure stand out is the paintwork on this figure and the helmet. It has all those tally marks that we see on Rex's armour. There's what I think of, of like weld lines where he's adapted his armour and his helmet. Join different pieces together. He's just a fantastic looking figure. Uh, this was back when um, Black Series were weathering their figures more. So a lot of the new clones don't have weathering on them. This Rex figure does. I think it looks better for it. Um, a lot of the new clones, some of the new clones have chipped paint, but no dirt. And then some of them are completely clean. And I think some of them have dirt, but not chipped paint. But you don't really see um, all of that weathering going on together. Um, that's a little bit different with this Rex. I mean, there's there's not much blue paint on him, but you can see there is chipping on the blue paint, and there's dirt on him as well. So we get the full weathering effect with this figure which I think is awesome. He is a great, great figure. He stands up even today against the line. Um, he stands up against today's figures better than most of the older um, Black Series figures. He's a great, great figure. And I'm really happy to have Rex in my collection at last. Um, He's a figure I've been after for a little while. This one came up at the right price on uh, eBay. And so I snapped him up. Um, interestingly, it's harder to find a Rex loose figure on eBay than it is to find one in box. Um, everybody wants the inbox version. Um, but if you're a loose collector, you probably aren't going to keep the box. Um, so you can pick up uh, a Rex figure for a much more reasonable cost, like I've done here. So that's my, my look at my new, new to me, Captain Rex. Um, obviously, this figure isn't currently available um, at retail outlets. He's, uh, he's too old a figure for that. Um, you'll have to buy him on the secondary market. And um, that means the really crazy prices, unless you go for one that is um, loose like this. And in which case, you'll probably pay slightly crazy prices for a Black Series <laughs> figure. Um, but substantially less than you would for a box one. And it's still a great figure. 
it's the same figure at the end of the day. Um, all he's missing if you buy him loose is the packaging. So, um, yeah, really nice figure. Really glad to have added him to my prequels and Clone Wars shelf. He's uh, going to sit on there with uh, some other clones and Anakin and Obi-Wan and um, Ahsoka. So uh, a really, really nice addition to my my prequels stroke Clone Wars shelf. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you like what I'm doing on the channel, then please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hitting the notification bell will let you know when new videos are being posted. Um, hopefully more on the Black Series. As I say in my videos, there's lots of Star Wars on my channel. There's lots of lightsabers on my channel. Um, if you're into that sort of thing, then um, yeah, please do consider subscribing and uh, hit that notification bell to be told when I'm posting new videos. But for now, that's everything I have to say about uh, about this wonderful Rex figure. And that just leaves me to say, cheerio, everyone. <laughs>